Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill for Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering the top five playmakers in the NFL right now. Before I get right into that list, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates, all the breakdowns, and everything we produce. Every single time it comes out fresh. Make sure you turn our notification bell on. Without further ado, let's get right into it. To make this list, you just got to be dynamic. You have to produce on Sundays. You have to have some type of production that says, okay, your team cannot be your team without you being on that team. And these top five guys that I'm naming are guys that are not only movers, but they're shakers in the NFL. They're making an impact on their team, and they're leading their team in some way, shape, or form, and they're in playoff contention or playing extremely at a great level. So I'm going to start at number five. Number five is Stephon Diggs, Buffalo Bills. When he gets going with Josh Allen, it's almost like a symphony. It's almost like you got the got the violins playing over here. You got the pianos playing here. You got the saxophones, the trumpets, the, the, the snares. You got everything just playing in unison. And the passion he plays with, when he gets that spark, he's the spark for the Buffalo Bills team. When you look at that offense, when you look at that defense on the sideline, he's the sparks to get them going. So when his emotional connects with his talent and it's on the field, he, he pumps himself up and he gives himself into game mode. We've seen him burn the likes of, of, of literally Jalen Ramsey. We've seen him go up against Sauce Gardner. You've seen him going against some of the best names and being able to produce. So Stephon Diggs is at number five. He's, he's a tremendous talent for the Bills, a big pickup when they got him, and he's been balling ever since. Uh, looking at number four, you got the you got the talented. A lot of people say he can't throw, but he's throwing for twenty touchdowns. He's running for nine more touchdowns. He's leading the team to the best record in the NFL. You're looking at Jalen Hurts. Uh, it's a quarterback, Jalen Hurts. When you talk about the dual threat, one of the best dual threats, if not Lamar Jackson's the best. He's probably the second best. The ability to run the football with the read option, the ability to take big hits. The ability to run the ball like a running back and still throw the ball. Jalen Hurts is leading the Philadelphia Eagles. They have one loss on the season. They have not only overdone expectations, but they're balling each and every week. It doesn't matter if they're winning uh, this week by one point or they're winning by 20 points or they're blowing out the Tennessee Titans by 15. It doesn't matter. Jalen Hurts is putting this team offensively in a position where they can win, getting the ball to playmakers, throwing the deep passes, throwing the deep bombs, making sure that the, the, the line's in unison, making sure the run game's on point. And then when he decides to run with it, it's almost like a like an automatic first down. He's producing. He has his guys in a position where they're going to the playoffs, may win their own division, may, may, may go to the NFC Championship game. You never know. So, Jalen Hurts is balling right now. He has his team at a position where uh, they don't have a lot of worries on the offensive side of the ball. Any off, any worries they have is probably on the defensive side of the ball. But Jalen is doing his job. He's doing his part. That's why he's on this list. Come in number three. The kid is electric. The kid is fire. He has the Minnesota Vikings in a position where they can say that they are going to win a division. He has his team in a position where they're going to make the playoffs. And he has his uh, team in a, in a position where he may be the best wide receiver in the NFL. You're looking at his overall catch radius and what he brings to the table when Kirk Cousins is throwing the football. You look at his his celebrations, the way that he lights up the Minnesota crowd when, when he gets the giddy on. I'm talking about Justin Jefferson. The kid is electric. The kid is fire. Even when he's doubled and tripled, he's still putting up numbers. His ability to raise his game where the opponent's game is and, and, and or better, uh, you see him constantly being challenged by the number one corner. Him producing. You see him constantly putting an effort in before and after the games, the game film that he's watching. You see the adjustments he makes in game. Justin Jefferson is a baller. He's a baller. He's prolific. And you're looking at the Minnesota Vikings having a generational talent. He broke Randy Moss's records this year. Um, he's done so many different things. And you're just seeing, I don't even think he's reached his peak yet. I don't think he's reached his prime yet. The kid is still working and learning the NFL. So at this point in time, he's going to be a monster even further. But he's coming in number three on this list. Coming in number two. This tight end could possibly be the greatest tight end of all time. 
You're looking at the connection. They just passed Tom Brady and, and, and Gronk with uh, Patrick Mahomes and, and it's Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey is, uh, doesn't matter. You double him, triple him. He's still going to catch the ball. Doesn't matter. They're going to put him in the backfield, line him up as a running back, put him out as a wide receiver, chip block, then go catch a catch, block a little bit. He does a little bit of everything for the, tra uh, for the Kansas City Chiefs. Travis Kelsey has raised his game year after year after year and made it to where Patrick Mahomes has a safety blanket. When they lost three kill, everybody said, oh, he's going to fall off. Pat's going to fall off. Pat's going to lose his numbers. His numbers are going to go down. The hell with that. Travis Kelsey said, buckle it up. It's time for me to eat even more. You see the way that no matter what goes on on that offense, Travis Kelsey is still there to produce for Patrick Mahomes. He's still in the fire. He's still making sure he has his back. He's taking hit after hit. He's taking circus hits. Multiple touchdown games. One touchdown, two touchdowns, three touchdowns. You see that this guy is a, is a work warrior in the gym. You see that he's working on the field. He's a constant professional, and he's dynamic as a tight end. Possibly the greatest tight end to ever lace it up. I know that numbers-wise, he's passing Antonio Gates. He's passing Shannon Sharp. He's passing Gronk. He's doing so many different things. And touchdowns, he's racking those touchdowns up, 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 and he gets a lot of yak. When he catches the ball, then you have to you gotta you gotta account for the wiggle. He likes to wiggle when he moves. He likes to uh, I'm a juke you juke you. I can give you some power, but I can also wiggle 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 wiggle. He he got the hips. He he likes to get out and juke a little bit. He likes to get out and do things. So Travis Kelsey is a monster. And lastly, number one, the guy chased the bag. He chased the bag. He chased the bag. They said he was going to struggle without his quarterback. They said without Patrick Mahomes, he's not going to be great. They said that he's not going to do X, Y, and Z. He's not going to have this many touchdowns. He's going to be a problem if he doesn't get the ball. He's going to be a DV if he doesn't get the ball. Tariq Hill has been the best wide receiver in the NFL. Let's be clear. On a team full of track stars, he's the fastest track star that the Miami Dolphins has. When you think about his big playability, even when Tua underthrows him, he goes and grabs it. The cheetah, if you will. Excuse me. Cheetah, if you will. Kid is a is a rocket with cleats on. With the ball, without the ball, fastest guy in the NFL. He easily tops 22, 23 miles per hour on, on those plays where he's running to the end zone. And when he puts the peace sign up, when you see this, when he's running with the football, you're not catching him. You're not catching him. Good luck. Go back to the huddle for the next play because they're about to kick an extra point. Get to the huddle. That's what they're going to do. Not only has he helped Tua, he's helped the Miami Dolphins. He's pushed them. He's made them into a title contender, and they will be challenging for the AFC East crown. They will be in the playoffs, and you're looking at this Miami team as being spectacular, and a big part of that is Jalen Waddle. Biggest part of it is to Hill. That's the biggest part of it. So these are my top five playmakers in the NFL. If you don't like the list, tell me your list. Tell me your top five playmakers in the NFL. And as always, we thank you for checking out Sports Choice Plus, and we'll see you on the very next video.